Hi, Taurus. Oh, my hair just went really funky there. Okay, so... Oh, I'm kind of glad. Like, I tried to do your video twice. The first time, I got really, really emotional. Like, in the very beginning, your energy is so heavy. Um, the second time I tried it, the guy started doing all the yard work outside, and it got really super loud, and I was like, holy crap, like... Oh, so heavy. Sorry, when the energy is really heavy, it like has to come out somehow. You guys don't care. Um, so yeah, third time's a charm, right? Um, something was taken out of your life with the eclipse. And I know that something really good is coming in. And it didn't... Even if it was, like, I feel like it was actually something, like somebody, something, some part of your life was changed dramatically, and it was like one of those moments where you were kind of like not really sure what to do. Because Taurus has been doing really well with moving forward. Even if it doesn't look like it to some people, Taurus has been doing really, really well with moving forward. Um, even if it doesn't feel like it to the Taurus, you guys have been moving forward. But um, something had to be pushed. Because there's so much abundance happening that's coming up. And you guys do not believe me at all. You're saying, what the hell? Nuh uh. There's so much abundance coming up for you that things needed to be energetically cleared. Now, if things are being energetically cleared in your life and you're still not ending whatever cycle it is that you need to end, whether it is a pattern in your life, if you are dwelling on the past in some way, if you are staying in a situation where you're having to always be guarded, always be fighting, always feeling like you're so overburdened by it and possibly being deceived, then you're deceiving yourself. Um, if, because you guys have felt the push. You guys felt the shift. You guys felt um, that movement forward. And with it came a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear. And then there was this relief, like, oh, finally, we get to move forward. Finally, everything's working in our favor. And then the eclipse came along and said, oh, wait, but there's one more thing. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. It's another, another something that the universe is going to um, flip a switch for you. And I, like my Taurus friends, are like, I don't understand what's going on. Things were going so well, and I know that I have a really good life, and I know that I can do better than this. I know I can be better than this. But why do I still feel like I have to fight so hard? Well... Because you've been sitting for so long. You know, the universe is like, okay, it's time to play catch up. So, yeah, you're going to have obstacles in the way of your movement. There we go. And there are going to be people. The empress. That are going to challenge you. Queen of Wands and the Hermit and the Knight of Swords and the Empress. I feel like this Empress energy is you and just trying to come back into um, that very like nurturing Taurian energy, right? So we have the Ten of Wands. These are the first three cards that came out. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. 
this is that fight. This is that really like being guarded again because the eclipse took something out of your life and you're like, holy shit, now what do I do? Because I thought that things were going so well or as well as they could be going. I really hope I don't get emotional because I'm like so overwhelmed by this huh, energy because of the shift that we talked about. Um, so now you're in fight mode. And now you're really guarded and you're really overburdened about it. But are you deceiving yourself? Five of Swords. Are you deceiving yourself that, um, like, do you really have to be in fight mode? Do you really have to be guarded? Can't you, I mean, I feel like you can open up. I feel like that there was, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Hanged Man is here. Um, I want to show you though, the five of swords, the knight of swords, the hermit and the queen of wands, <sighs> Taurus, I know that it sucks to be pushed by the universe to move. And a lot of you are doing really, really good with it. You know, I mean, Taurus like, and the reason why we're, I'm so hard on you and everybody else is so hard on you about being, about moving forward is because Taurus is fixed and you're an earth sign. So you're a grounded, fixed earth sign. You don't want to move. God damn it. Don't make me move. Right? Well, now the universe is saying you have to, and the universe is pulling things, people, ideas, situations out of your life on purpose to wake your ass up because it's time, because it's not 2017 anymore. If you have a Virgo in your life who you're being very guarded against, I don't blame you. That Virgo is going through a lot of emotional opening up as well. Um, could be withdrawing from people. Could be um, really in that hanged man state too. If you have a queen of wands in your life who you are also fighting against, feeling very burdened about, queen of wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Because... All of this is arguments. All of this is conflict. All of this is fighting. And if we look at the planetary stuff that's going on, Mercury is in Aquarius. It moved into Aquarius on the 31st. And um, we also have a square against um, Mars and Neptune. So there's going to be, like, I don't know if that's really going to affect you guys so much because I think you're already deceiving yourselves. I think that um, whatever has happened to you or whatever the eclipse took out of your life so it could bring something else in, um, it could have like washed an aspect of your life out so it could come back in in a fresh way. Things like that. But it was painful. It was really, really painful. And it was to bring clarity to you. You know? Um, and I think that's what the Mars and Neptune aspect is going to do as well. And I feel like if you stay in that clarity and you don't be, be very guarded by it, you know, if you make your decision by then, it won't be fuzzy. If you make your decision on what do I do with this overburdening situation that I feel like I'm always having to fight for or fight about. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. We don't want to be here anymore. Hanged man? We don't want to be here anymore. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups, and then the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. So, Taurus, you could be dealing with a Gemini that is a little mouthy this month um, with the Lovers and the Knight of Swords here, but we have the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. So whatever conflict you are in the middle of, whether it's in your mind or whether it's in your environment, 
you feel like all is lost. You feel like there's no turning back. You feel like somebody kind of just shoved you out or the eclipse just shoved you out, you know? Um, just know that there's a, there's a very clear reason why this is happening. The tower came in your love reading for a reason. The Eight of Wands and the Lover's card, it's very promising. It's very promising. And the Queen of Pentacles, this could be you. It could be the Earth sign in your life. Um, this Queen of Wands could be um, an Aries, since we do have the Empress here. But, like, this clarity and this indecisive that keeps going back and forth with, within the Taurus um, mind frame is really how this, this culmination happened. I just looked at the clock. It was 11-11 when I said that. And it's so funny because you guys want to be able to, like, fight for it, fight for what you need to say, what you want to say, but you're so guarded in it. And I just want to tell you to like, you have to open yourself up to the possibility that this had to happen. Something had to be cleared up. Something had to be cleared out. Something had to be restructured. Because I don't feel like it was all lost. I think that it, it looks that way right now, and I think that it feels that way right now, but towards the middle of January or middle of February, I think that if you guys opened yourselves up a little bit to the possibility that it's not all lost, that it can be happy, four of wands. I think the eclipse also brought in a lot of good things for Taurus. And if you're a Taurus and everything is perfectly fine and everything is really happy, then check your moon and rising sign because this is not your reading. If you're a Taurus where you feel like you've been fighting the same battle over and over and over again, and we keep talking about that tower and we keep talking about how you want to like pull away and then give more and then pull away and give more, just know that that energy is going it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be so hard it does not have to be so hard I feel like if you were the one that needed to have that clearing in your life or restructuring in your life um, I feel like if you are the one that needs to communicate the universe is giving you a very like a perfect opportunity to charge in, to say what you need to say. Because it was almost like reckoning day. You know, that tower came during the, the, during the love reading. And it's like, we don't want any more towers. We already said that. No more turning back. Don't turn back into your past and think that things are going to be the same from here on out. Because there's a dramatic change that switched. And this could be in a relationship. It could just be with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be lovers because the lovers card is Gemini card. Um, but it could be in work. It could be in your family life. What, whatever it was that needed to be changed with you guys, the eclipse definitely did it. And it was like, if you were a Taurus that wasn't ready for it, it was devastating. But it was a shift that needed to happen, right? So if you're the one that's being guarded and defensive and things are really, really heavy with... 
whatever conflict is happening right now, where whatever is really making you feel like up in your head, stuck in your head and in fight mode, either with a queen of wands or Gemini, Virgo, you could be up in your head and conflicted, but you want to say something. There's something that Taurus really wants to say. Three of wands, Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Three of Swords. And the Devil. And the Chariot. Whew. So... To regain your stable ground, because you certainly are not in a stable spot, right? So to regain this, you guys really need to start to drop that bullish defensiveness. Because when a Taurus is done with something, they will cut that shit out and be done with it. Person, place, thing, pick an element, I don't care, whatever it is. They will cut that out of their life and say, no, I'm done. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Um, but it, Tauruses are usually like, no, I'm done. I'm just done. Done. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. Except three of swords and the three of wands. You don't want to be done dealing with it. And that's the problem here. That's the thing, is I feel like that's where the guardedness is coming from. You being the bull, the Taurus, bull, and saying I'm done, and being guarded, done. So that needs to be communicated. Because if you look at this magic here, Eight of Wands and the Chariot. If you aren't done with the, whatever situation that made you feel like the rug was pulled out from underneath you, if you're not done with it, then you need to say something. Because you won't, unless the other person does. Right? You'll like blow up on everybody and tell everybody to fuck off and run away and go into your... Taurus bull mode after you rammed your horns all over everything. And then what? Everybody gets the wrath. But you won't admit that, you know, maybe you do need to say something. We have the Ten of Pentacles because you want to get back to this stable place. You know, and that's what you're waiting for. That's what you want. You don't want to be in this Three of Swords state anymore. Whoever, whatever puts you there. So I would take the opportunity in the first two and a half weeks before Mars and Neptune square off to say something. Communicate with how you feel. Don't stay in this guarded, like, I mean, fight mode. Don't stay in that fight mode. you can certainly move forward. It's possible. And I know you guys are so uncomfortable right now because the universe basically said, oh no, we're gonna get you moving and we're gonna show you how and it's not gonna make any sense to you and you won't exactly know what to think about it and you're gonna be really guarded and feel really, really burdened and oh damn, I'm sorry, but the tower came enough. So this is the aftermath. This is the aftermath. You feel like all is lost. Feel like you were shoved out in the cold. Even if you were, there was a reason behind it. So you have to figure out what that reason was. Was it for you to find clarity in that truth? Or is it for you to 
recognize that you needed to see something in a different way. Or maybe it was just to get you moving. Because no more broken heart. No more broken heart. Right? So I feel like that you should be the one to communicate. If you need to say something, say something. Um, and I know it's really hard for a Taurus to admit that. So if you would like to take my advice, that would be cool. If not, then you can stay in this, you know, three of swords state. Um, because not all is lost. I bet some things can be fixed. And I bet it, they could be done your way. If you chose to open up, right? All right, guys. Um, so if you want a personal reading, download the Instant Go app if you have an iPhone. Um, if you don't have an iPhone, I am offering a one question email um, reading on my website, fearlessintuition.net. Um, the link to my website is below. Just go to fearlessintuition.net. Google me. I'm there. Um, and you can do the one question whether you have an iPhone or not. I just figured, you know, whatever. It's on my website. It's available. And all my other personal readings are also on my website. Check those out. Um, thank you so much for the, do the donations. I've actually had some questions and queries about whether I'm going to start charging for videos on YouTube, and I'm not. Um, I'm going to do as much as I possibly can with the time that I am given, but I'm not going to stress out about getting every single video that I've ever gotten for loves and generals and all that because I'm also starting another channel for the Twin Flame community. So um, I do want to let you guys know that the donations are very, very helpful because I do not um, charge for YouTube videos. Um, I'm not saying you have to donate to the channel, but they are helpful and I really appreciate it. And you guys are wonderful and I love you all anyway. So, um, let's talk about the second half of February in a couple of weeks and see how the energies are going. Um, sorry, I came on here a little bit emotional, but you know, this eclipse kind of did some things to me too. And I know how you Torians have really big hearts and it's hard to be pushed out of situations for you guys. Um, so take very good care of yourselves during this time and um, make sure that you're getting a lot of sleep and also make sure that you're doing a lot of things for yourself and you're speaking your truth because that's going to be really helpful right now. Um, so I love you guys so much and I will see you for the second half of February readings. Bye.